This is Jason Marchek from RCR Wireless News, and I'm here with Lynn Cantor, the president of Tektronix Communications. Hello, Lynn. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so, can you tell us a little bit about what Tektronix Communications is here to talk about at the TM Forum? I'd be happy to. So we're here not only to talk about our hardware and software solutions around CEM and LTE, but in specific we had made an announcement this week on deep packet classification, which is a new capability in our offering to help our customers see all the unique services that go across their mobile broadband network, which will ultimately help them with uh, monetization with some of their end customers as well as help them prevent churn with uh, customers that may be having problems. Okay, and when you talk about uh, service monitoring or network management on a per customer, per service basis, can you talk a little bit about what's required to, to really enable that? I'm happy to. So at, at the end of the day, um, in today's LTE environments or, or mobile broadband environments, being able to get resolution or visibility down to the individual subscriber is becoming significantly important to the carriers. So being able to get access to that or data or that visibility through the network in some means is critical. We happen to do that through the use of hardware and software probes, monitoring the network for our customers in real time and being able to get the resolution down to an individual person or their device, whether it's an air card, whether it's a tablet or a handheld, and being able to track the performance of that customer's experience on the network for voice, video, and data in real time, capture their, their experience, and also be able to database it in a way to help the carriers see performance trends. So the, the net answer is real t you know, in real time hardware and software probing to capture the actual experience of the customer is really critical in unlocking the value in a broadband, uh, in mobile broadband environment. And, and that's powerful information once you get that. So you talked a little bit about the uh, data available to them. Once they have that data, what type of opportunities are available to them in terms of interacting with their subscribers or monetization? Well, I think there's really three principal areas um, that the carrier has an opportunity to use the data to serve their customers better. So first and foremost, it's in the area of troubleshooting as they deploy the new networks to ensure that the services are up and delivering as they've intended to, to meet a, call it a formal or informal SLA with their customers. Then number two, it's to be able to prevent churn. So in the unfortunate event that services do go haywire and their, their customers are having a bad experience, being able to collect data in real time and then having a rich data a store of that will allow them to see much earlier affected customers' experience and prevent them from churning. And that's all about you know, making sure they don't lose valuable customers once they've added them to the network. And then I think the third, which is of most uh, important carriers uh, today, is taking the opportunity to look at that data in a way that they can see upsell opportunities for their customers, be able to look at the service uh, services that they've opted for, the kinds of packages. Um, uh, or use of the data on the network that helps them shape the kind of packages that could be logical for an upsell opportunity. Thank you very much.